Bertie the Snow Bus. Written by Christopher Audrey. Read and adapted for audio by TARDIS 9. One winter's day, Bertie the Bus was going home to his bus station when he got caught in a sudden snowstorm. The snow fell heavily and soon Bertie's driver could hardly see the road at all. The windscreen wipers went slower and slower. Swish, swish, swish. Until they had stopped completely. Bertie's tyres slipped and skidded on the road. Oh dear, he thought. How will I ever get home? He wished for a moment that he was an engine like Thomas who could run along track straight back to his nice, warm engine shed. It's no good, Bertie, said his driver. We'll have to stop. He put Bertie's brakes on and climbed out of the cab. I'll have to get help. I'll be as quick as I can, he said. And he trudged off down the road, leaving Bertie by himself in the snow. The snow covered Bertie as though it were a blanket. The minutes passed and soon Bertie was just a mound in the snow. Oh, 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 I hope they could find me, thought Bertie, as the minutes ticked silently away. But his mind was soon put at rest when he heard a cheery voice saying, I've heard of a snowman, but never a snow bus. It was Terence the tractor who had come to the rescue. By this time, the snow had stopped, so Bertie's driver wound chains around his wheels to make it easier for them to roll over the snow. Then, he and Terence's driver attached a tow rope to Bertie's front. Terence's driver hitched the snowplow onto Terence to help him push through the snow. Crunch! Crunch! Crunch, he went, as he slowly pulled Bertie out of the drift and up a slope to where the snow was less steep. Bertie was still covered with snow. He now looked like a birthday cake covered in white icing. Eventually, they reached the main road, where he was able to roll along by himself again. Bertie thanked Terence for his help and hurried on to Wellsworth, where he was put into a nice, warm bus station to recover from his chilly adventure. When the Fat Controller heard the story the next day, he was very pleased with everyone. Friends usually turn out for the best when everyone helps each other, he said, and Bertie agreed.